Okay, so basically, as long as you have these old policies that are there and it filters through into society, society becomes a certain shape and you know, does certain things over time, people think, oh, no, this is just the way it's always been. It's, it's, uh, look at the programming. Look at the programming, the laws of society. That's the programming. You can change the code, change the code. A lot of other things will change too. It's just a matter of time. So there's hope in that. There's a lot of hope in that. Anyway, it's, I mean, this is just one example, the, the, the gender pay differences. It's just one thing that kind of has women feeling like powerless about their position. And so it's those, it's, it's that continued feeling of powerlessness that has people giving up their responsibility for self and their, their own responsibility for their own lives, their own finances and the ability and the, the, the scope of what they can do in their lives. And so women, a lot of women eat this up. And if, if it's all you've, you've grown up with, if it's all you've heard, if it's all you've kind of seen around you continuing over and again in different situations, etc., you're gonna believe it, right? And so then you start to believe that, okay, if I want to stand a fair, decent chance in life, I need to be adjunct. I need to be. I need to connect myself with a man who knows what he's doing. A man who's wealthy. A man who who can provide substantially for me into the future. And this is why they do it. It's policy. It's baseline policy. It's the same thing with like. You know, the Black Lives Matters thing. And a lot of people say, no, everybody has an equal standing in America. They just need to make do well for themselves. No, it's not that easy because, I mean, life in the projects, there's this whole... In America is pretty, especially... Uh, what do you call it? Um, suburban America is extremely neatly divided into certain sectors like there's a lot of black people living in this area low low economics down there high economics up there a lot of white people living on hills etc maybe hispanic people living over there and it's not because they just all choose to live around and amongst each other it's if you if you do your research and you keep looking it comes down to policy it comes down to what what banks will accept from certain people to give them loans is that much easier for a, a white family to get a, a housing loan? Is that much easier than a black family? And, and there's all kinds of limitations as well. You go look it up, you'll find out about it. It's called, what is it, redlining. Redlining, where the banks would draw on, on the map of a city, they would draw red lines, like a, a border around a certain area. And then that area, in that area, certain people it's easy for them to live but if they had to ask for a housing loan for outside of that area oh it's that much more difficult for them than for the average white family it's fact it's on paper and it i don't think it's been changed yet so this is policy this is antiquated policy that hasn't been changed yet or maybe it's been been benefiting those who are well educated about it it, it that same policy that is old and antiquated benefits the same people that continue it like they're aware of it they're aware of, of how unfair it is but it's benefiting them and their particular group of people so why would they change it why would they draw everybody else's attention to how unfair it is they're educated about it ah, I, i'm all right i'm good but you know let those people take care of themselves never mind the fact that they barely have access to decent education hmm yeah so a lot a lot of this stuff is policy based but it's also when it comes to this policy based stuff the reason why it just continues is because those who those who usually are aware of it are the same ones who benefit from it. So why would they educate other people about it? I mean, it's doing them well, right? Why would they? 
But the problem with that is, if you and your family grow up in a society where certain things have benefited you, but not other people, how safe are your children? How safe are you? How safe are you and your children walking around or just outside the borders where you grew up? How safe are you?